Coming up today on Houston Life, Taste Bar and Kitchen shares with us the true meaning of Thanksgiving. Find out how they're teaming up with a local nonprofit to help provide meals for families in need. Plus, where you can score zero maintenance, locally made furniture, perfect for Houston's year-round patio weather. And dust off your running shoes. The Tavola Reindeer Run is a holiday-themed 5K happening this Saturday in New Caney. We've got all the info ahead of this weekend's festive event. And delicious cranberry sauce recipe that will be the star of your Thanksgiving feast. All of that happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life on this Friday Eve, November 18th. November 18th already. I'm Courtney Savala. Hi, Courtney. Hi, everyone. I'm Derek Shore. I feel like November just started, and here we are on the doorstep of December. Uh, here we are. I like your polar bear sweatshirt. Thank you so much. Even though it's kind of warm outside, it was chillier this morning. Yeah. So, you know, it's sweater weather. It's super cute. Also known as... Sweater, Sweater weather. <laughs> so Courtney only had one cup of coffee. Cup of coffee today. See, I only had one too. And you were asking right before the show if you could take a nap. I, it didn't work out. It did not. I I have been chasing my tail all day long. I need a nap. But I, it, Orlando was out of town, so I had to drop the, both boys off at school today. And Oscar had puppy camp, and he threw up in my car. Oh, it was no. it was a whole thing, all before 8 a.m. Oh man. Well, <laughs> you, you look fantastic. You know, I had a news mare the other morning. You know oh, what no. these are. You taught me this term. Yes. It's a nightmare, but when you work in television, you have a news mirror. Yep. So I had a dream that around 2 o'clock, you know, our show is on right now, it's 3 p.m. At 2 o'clock, I went home, Brandon was there working from home, and I was like, hey, I'm just going to sit on the couch, close my eyes for a minute. <laughs> what time did I wake up in my dream? <laughs> like 3.16. You're late. I was late. I were missed people, the show. Were we calling you? What was going no, on? Or we just carried calm. on? I, I called the control. Hey, Heather, it's me, Derek. Uh, I just woke up from a nap. And unless you have a time machine and a helicopter, I've missed today's show. Well, at least you called in. It was bad times. <laughs> hey, last night we had another fun school night little date. We missed you. I know. I was at a basketball game. It's okay. We know yep. you're wearing a lot of hats these days. The grand opening, or oh, reopening, should we say, so of nice. Alegria Cirque du Soleil. Check out this little champagne wall. Um... I know. I'm still trying to figure out how I can get one of these at our house. Right? I know that these magical hands just would reach right through with a full glass of champagne. So people often say, like, how good could the show be under the big top, under a tent? Guys, it is Fantastic. phenomenal. This is some official show video that they sent me to you so you guys could see. Obviously, I'm not one of those rude people who pulls out their phones during a performance. Um, so this is their official uh, B-roll. But Courtney, oh my gosh, the show was so good. And the whole time I kept thinking, I wish my mom were here. I wish my sister and my niece and yes. everyone, they're all going to come to Houston just to see this show. And it, it was snowed. so phenomenal. And it did snow. We had to we had to take part in the uh, the oh. snow celebration afterward. I am so glad y'all went, and it looks fantastic. We're going to go as a family in a couple weeks, so I'm excited. The boys are real excited to see it. The as boys well. will love it. It's out at Sam Houston Race Park. So mark your calendars and go because they're open until January. And so glad they're back under uh, the big top. It's a fantastic performance. All of those performers are lovely, and you know they do their own makeup. All the music, everything is right. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, and nice as pie. Like, yeah. I mean, we've been lucky enough that they've invited us to, to go behind the scenes. And I think we mentioned last week that when Alegria opened a year ago, it was yes. March of 2020. And then the pandemic hit. And a week later, they were they were shut down. So we're so happy they're back here in Houston. Absolutely stage. working. And it's so great. And then you had a great audience as well. So, you know, we are... Well, you know, you know me. I love a good countdown clock. Yeah. Your next Thursday is Thanksgiving, so officially, oh, look at wow. this countdown to Thanksgiving. Oh, this, man. to just be fair, this is our countdown to noon on Thursday. You're going to do a little Thanksgiving lunch, six days, twenty oh, hours. Gosh. You can count the minutes. Kind of stresses me out the countdown clock, to be honest. I love a good countdown clock, but here's the other thing: when you start talking about Thanksgiving and food, we think cranberry sauce, right? But there's a little bit of controversy attached to it. 
Got to throw Prince in when you can. <laughs> well, um, but listen. <laughs> well, and this specifically is the sliced listen. cranberry sauce. This was the only kind I grew up with. I didn't know you could make it you fresh. You remember the noise that it makes when you take it out of the can? The nice the suction or whatever? gelatinous plop. Yeah, so this is an article mm -hmm. based of an article on HuffPost. And cranberry sauce in the can is basically our Thanksgiving icon, right? I mean, you think about this. Maybe the kids these days don't know what this is, but okay. we certainly do. Yeah, yeah. This is also one of the most divisive parts of the Thanksgiving meal. Because people love it or hate it? Yeah, listen oh. to this. According to Instacart data shared with Huffington Post, sales have increased, increased of the canned cranberry sauce, 32% over really? the last two years. So there's some new fans here. Canned cranberry sauce is one of the, um, it's sort of like you either, you're in two camps. You can't stand it or you love it. It's like cilantro. How do we know that the increase in purchasing, though, it, people actually what do you eating have against it? cilantro? I, I love cilantro. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. Some people don't like it? Some people really hate it. I really love it. But are, are people actually consuming the extra cranberry sauce, or are they using it for, like, science projects? Because no, some people really hate it. No, I think it's a consumption thing. Here's the thing. You're, you, you're vegetarian. Are you yeah. vegetarian or are you vegan? You're vegetarian. vegetarian. Okay. Yeah, but I try to eat a plant-based diet whenever I can. As the owner of My Mama's Vegan in, in Baltimore... Okay. She's like, this is a vegan delight that you can enjoy. You don't have to change the recipe. You pop, it 100% vegan. Just as w by yeah. itself. Yeah. N no. I mean, you're gonna put it on whatever. How? What are you making your tofurkey or something? Plop it in a bowl and just yeah. eat it with a spoon. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try that. I mean, you can add it into your Thanksgiving meal. We 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 could. My mom is is a huge fan of the cr the canned cranberry sauce. Today, Marsha Smart's in the house. She's gonna teach us how to make that real good stuff. The real good stuff, and also put it in a cocktail, which is always really fun. I'm not making it up. She's going to do that. No, that is awesome. Leave it to Marsha Smart to put cranberry sauce in a cocktail. I mean, Love it. Listen, Marcia. look no further, The world people. would not be the same without you. We look, can't wait for this second. Look no further. Marsha Smart, listen, she can make a cocktail out of anything. Trust me. She can. <laughs> it's like Brandon can make dinner. He's like, what do we have in the fridge? I don't know, a, a rusty spoon and some old nails. Okay, and listen, five minutes later, it's, it's like delicious. this beautiful spread. <laughs> it's incredible. Well, that is a fascinating set of... Um, uh, you didn't Research. like it, did you? No, I did. I did. And camps divided, for sure. It, yeah. I like to make the real deal, but the sound of the thing coming out of the... Popping. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just plug your ears. Yeah. Or sing all I want for Christmas. What do you have for me today? Okay, so I have a free reusable cup from Starbucks. How does that sound? Is that the season? It's now. It's today, isn't it? Tis I missed the it. Season. No, you didn't miss it. You still have time. Oh, you do? So today, you can go to any Starbucks. You can also order on your app. So it has to be a holiday or seasonal handcrafted beverage that you order in order to qualify for one of these reusable cups. So you can't just do a regular drip coffee. You have to do one of the fancy holiday drinks. What if but I don't want that one? What if I just want to call <laughs> Courtney, I'm trying to help you out here. You either get a free cup or you don't. And if you want one, it has to be a handcrafted holiday beverage. But I'm okay? still buying the drink, right? <laughs> yes. You buy it. You do have to pay for the drink, okay, which just may or may not be six or seven dollars. <laughs> so that free cup is sort of like $7. a bonus which, with purchase. But hey, this is part of a push by Starbucks yeah. to reduce the single-use waste. waste cups. You know, by 2030, they're planning on cutting their single-use cups, Love that. Uh, the usage of those cups by 50%. And if you think about it too, how many items do we use every single day? Like a plastic bottle, you you take it, you use it for like two minutes and then it sits in a landfill for a hundred years. That doesn't quite make a whole lot of sense, No, right? it doesn't. So I think it's good whenever we can use, like, I use this plastic. This is actually a plastic. I've been I've using this for too. years. Yeah. We refill it. We use it every day. So I think it's cool. Go to Starbucks. Get your holiday cheer in the form of a reusable cup. And I like the uh, design this year. Last year you gave me you gave me one. You gave me one, too, with my oh, name on it. I did. Plant Dad? That yes. one? Yes. So fun, right? Are you getting confused? No, you gave me the Starbucks holiday cup. I did give you one. Okay. Are okay. you confused? Just making sure. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Who needs the nap? COVID. COVID. Still Blame COVID. Okay. One item you won't find in Martha Stewart's cupboard. Find out uh -oh. what she's saying is clumsy and ugly. <laughs> Wow, okay, cool. Whoa. For now, though, why don't we check in with Lauren Kelly, who has the perfect holiday event for the entire family to enjoy. Hey, Lauren. Hey, guys, it's a beautiful community out here in New Caney. Tavola is going to host their fifth annual reindeer run this Saturday. I've got all the details on how you and the whole family can be a part coming up when Juice Life returns.
Welcome back to Houston Life. You know, we here at the HL, we love Martha Stewart. Yes, I've interviewed her. Are you serious? I did. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna need to get that story. I'm stunned. Wow, well that is fantastic. Martha, if you're watching, we'd love to have you on Houston Life. So we love Martha. There's something she really does not love though. Mm -mm. You know what it is? I do know. It's a mug. You know, the kind with a handle? Doesn't In case like it. you missed The Tonight Show, we're gonna roll a clip. See, I don't like mugs. I think mugs are sort of clumsy and ugly. I don't, I don't, I don't own a mug in my house. Really? No, I have beautiful cups. We you know. give you mugs every time you're on our show. I know, but I, I give them away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, at least she's honest. She gives them away. That is hilarious. Now, and you and I were talking, Courtney, during commercial break. My mom and I were just chatting yesterday about how much we love mugs. We use them every day for everything. Listen, I have a full collection of mugs. Eileen, my mom, she does as well from every little nook and cranny that she's been. Oh, I need a coffee mug. Oh, I need this. So I do too, even traveling, I get the, the tra you know, where I stopped or somebody gives, Lori gives me a mug, I give her a mug, I love it. Yeah, it's sort of like a, a journal of either your, you know, like a travel log where you've been or where yes. you've worked, you get the work mug. I like the ones with the little, uh, the lids on them oh. and the insulated, you know, yes. things so you can keep your coffee warm all day. Anyway, I am very curious though to see some of these fancy cups she drinks out of instead, aren't you? I, what, it must be more like China. I don't know, like maybe, or maybe a hand thrown, but I don't, I mean, she's a multimillionaire, isn't she? Billionaire? Yeah. No but wonder she doesn't just, like mugs. Right? She's not like the rest of us. The common people. <laughs> All right, let's check Commoners in. like mugs, okay, Martha? We do. Let's check in with Joe Sam with our question of the day. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah, I like a good sturdy mug. Right? So I don't know what Martha is talking about. She needs to go somewhere with that. You know, we want to hear from you. What's a gift you received that you didn't really want? So we have those answers coming in right now. A lot of people sending in some really good answers. Nancy, she writes in, not myself, but once I brought my elderly father a foot bath to soak his feet. He opened it up and said, why would anyone buy this? Oh. <laughs> I like those. Oh, I gracious. They're so good, especially That's... the massage ones. Jacqueline, she writes in a velvet robe. <laughs> I look like a pimp when I wear it, and it makes me really hot. But now my husband wears it when he's cold, so he looks like a pimp. Oh, <laughs> well, that seems like a very fun household. Exactly. This is my favorite one, you guys. Selena, she writes in, my now ex-husband got me nothing for Christmas. Nothing. <laughs> he told me that he didn't know what I wanted. I asked if he thought I would like nothing instead. I cried, and that's why God created divorce lawyers. Amen, Amen. Selena. Selena. Amen. Do not stay with a man who doesn't buy you a gift. Or, nothing or at says all. he doesn't know you well enough to get a gift. A Come gift on. something. Come I mean, on. something yes. is better than anything. Flowers, oh. something. <laughs> Chocolates, yeah, I'm sorry, but she's gonna have to go ahead and get rid of him. <laughs> she did, <laughs> she it's did. done. It's done, done over deal. with. We want you guys to head over to the Houston Life Facebook page, join that conversation. We're gonna share more of your comments a little later on in the show. I like what Selena had to say, this is funny. And Martha, she can give me all the mugs, I right? would take that. I know, <laughs> I, I love buying gifts for people and I'm pretty, I, I like anything, so I, I, I enjoy any gift. Yeah. I like giving a gift more than I actually like receiving it. Mm. And and that's, I mean, I usually do my shopping all throughout the year. Mm -hmm. You know, there doesn't have to be a special occasion to buy. It's like, oh, well, Joe would love this. I have to buy it. And right. I like receiving rather than giving. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you are so funny. I'm Give me all the gifts. <laughs> oh, you are great. All right, we'll see you in a little bit, Absolutely. okay? If you're looking for a fun holiday themed family event happening this weekend, grab your running shoes, head on out to the Tavola Reindeer Run. It's going to be great weather for it as well. The event now in its fifth year, it's a 5K race happening this Saturday in New Caney. Lauren Kelly is here now with more on that. Hey, Lauren. Hey guys, I did. I grabbed my running shoes. I am so ready for this event. I've been a part of it for the last couple of years, and I'm so excited to talk with Cheryl Perry, who you guys know and love. She's marketing director for Tavola. This community is so beautiful, Cheryl, and I always joke because every time I pull in, I always take a photo of that landmark right there. It's such a great community for this event happening on December the 4th. Yeah, Tavola is home to, well, it will be home to 3,800 families. Um, our homes range from the 220s to the 600s. Um, it's a Friendswood Development. So this event is because Friendswood Development Company believes in not only developing neighborhoods, but developing community. So we want to bring the community together in a healthy and fun way. And what I love about this event, it's a 5K if you'd like to do that one. There's also a 1K, but it's really just about getting the family out and getting moving and getting healthy, right? So it's been so much fun. You have photo ops with Santa. You got 
tell people why this is the best vibe camp. Oh my gosh, we have Santa and Mrs. Claus, free photos, we have a photo booth, we have a rock climbing wall, we have gourmet hot chocolate and coffee, we have the Chick-fil-A Santa cow, we have chicken biscuits. We the Chick-fil-A <laughs> Santa cow, by the way, has not been out in quite a while, so we're excited to have First him out. Yes. post-pandemic appearance, so we're very excited. Um, it's just a super, super fun event for families. Um, and everybody's going to get a qualifying t-shirt when they come out. Please register in advance. It's just one of those things that makes it easier the day of the race. So go online right now. The a website is tavolareindeerrun.com or you can always call 281-703-8800 for more information. But like I said, Cheryl, the ages range from 9 to 70. So you have no excuse to come out and have a good time. Absolutely. It's just, it's fun for the whole family. If you're going to do the 1K and just, you can walk, it's a little over half a mile. Or if you're going to do a 21 minute 5K, come on out. We have uh, Willie Folks who runs the Houston or the Woodlands Marathon is actually our race director. So oh, it's, cool. it's a yeah. really good race. He's a great, great guy too. We're really excited to talk more about it and how it benefits New Caney ISD. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in Houston Live. So you guys don't go anywhere. Cheryl and I might run to another location. Derek and Courtney, <laughs> we'll see you a little bit later on in the show. All right. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Lauren. See you in just a bit. When we come back, where you can find durable made to last patio furniture to help you soak up the sun in Houston's year round patio friendly weather. And later we're showing a quick homemade cranberry sauce recipe and two easy ways to use it after Thanksgiving. That and so much more still ahead on Houston Life. Well, comfortable furniture isn't just for the inside of your home. Your patio furniture should be just as comfy, strong, and durable, and last for years to come. And a local family-owned and operated company is making sure of just that. Mia, come here. Get down. There you go. Good girl. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It's so nice to be here, actually, at your home, you all. Golda, one of your dogs, Mia's running around the backyard. Maybe she'll join us at some point. This is one of my favorite times of the year in Houston because people think about summer as being patio weather, but really we can spend time on our patios year round. In Houston, Texas, you can. You can, it's, it's a beautiful day today. It's a beautiful fall day. It's not a coincidence that we're sitting on this furniture. This is furniture that you sell at Living Designs Furniture. When I sat down, I could really tell it was well made. This is teak wood, correct? This is teak wood. It's a wood that is extremely, extremely hard. It's in the hardwood family. What's beautiful about the peak is if you look at it really closely, you can see the grain. Yeah. And you can see the different colors of the wood. This is sealed with teak oil. What you see is not stained, nothing brought out of the wood. This is the natural color of the wood. Wow, it's gorgeous. Right? And all you have to do to keep up with it is once a year, wipe it with teak oil. It will reseal it and basically it will last forever. It's comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. And most patio furniture is not comfortable. What about maintenance on the cushions, though? Because especially in Houston, when we're dealing with all the wetness and the summer humidity, is there anything that we need to do that's special to care for these? No. I chose, for example, these white covers. They're indoor, outdoor. So if it rains, basically all you do is you stand this thing up, the water will come out of it. Once the sun comes out, within an hour, it's dry like it was never wet. So no, there is zero maintenance because the fabrics are protected for exactly the use that we're using it for. They're made to be outside. If you spill something on it, you can wipe it clean. If, for example, Golda, the dogs jump up here and they have mud on their paws, same thing, you just wipe it clean, even if it's white. Really? Yes. Let's talk about Living Designs Furniture because you've all, you've been part of this community for decades. For more than 40 years, Texas mattress makers, you have been creating quality mattresses for less at your factory there. A lot of people might not realize that Living Designs Furniture is your furniture making business. You've also been doing that for a long time. Living Designs Furniture has a showroom, but it's really a factory. Our workmanship is second to none. We manufacture all our frames out of hardwood. We guarantee our frames for life. 
not the life of the frame, your life, and the normal wear and tear, you will never, ever, ever break that frame down. And by the way, you pick fabric, colors, texture that you want. We have all the materials and supplies in the building. There is no waiting four months, five months. Oh my gosh, that's unheard of, especially these days, because you order any piece of furniture, you might be delayed by months and months. And our prices, the best deal that you can get in this town on this type of furniture, I promise you. This is the perfect place to sit and read the newspaper in the morning. And that's, you just described my wife to the teeth. Really? Uh, absolutely, every morning, early in the morning, cold or not, she will come out with a cup of coffee, you know, and a blanket sometimes, and she'll sit and watch the dogs, you know, do their business and run around after the squirrels and whatever the case may be. But that's what she does. That sounds know? perfect. It is perfect. I'd like to come over and do that one more. You are welcome anytime you want to sit down with my wife and watch the squirrels. Oh, that is quite an offer. I love that. You know, not a problem. Sitting and watching the squirrels, drinking our coffee. Yuval, I'm going to take you up on that, so tell Michelle I'm coming. Be sure to stop by Living Designs to give their patio furniture a try. And if you're in the market for living room furniture, that's okay, too. Right. You can score Black Friday savings for the rest of the month, including up to 50% off select items in stock in their showroom. Just visit livingdesignsfurniture.com or call 713-921-5098. On Living Designs and Texas Mattress Makers, I mean, it's the same factory. Right. A lot of people see you all and they're like, wait, I didn't know that you designed furniture, but he's been doing that longer than he's been doing mattresses. It's awesome. I'm still thinking about that blush pink chair I saw in your video. Gorgeous. Pretty, right? Yes. Well, they have a million fabrics to choose from, so spend some extra time there when you I want to go watch the squirrels, too. Okay. Be invited? You're always invited. Okay, thanks. That sounds like a blast. Now, let's send things over to Joe, who has a look at way one local business is helping feed our community this holiday season. Hey, Joe. Hey, guys. Yeah, coming up, I'll share with you the reason why the owner of Taste Bar and Kitchen is stepping out in the community, delivering a full holiday meal with all the trimmings to families for Thanksgiving, and we'll get a check of what's coming up for the news at four, including a story of a hearing tw uh, a heroing 12-year-old old boy. Houston Life is back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you on this Friday Eve. Yeah, glad to have you with us as always. Earlier we asked, what is a gift you received that you really didn't want? Let's take a look at more of your responses. <laughs> Betty writes in, my first Christmas present from my new husband was an electric skillet. Okay. Well, it's okay. useful. Uh, useful, not so romantic. My dad pulled my husband aside and told him, we need to talk. The next year I received a cashmere coat with a fur collar. Way to go, dad. There you go. Way to go, dad. Absolutely. Laura writes in, an epilady. Do you guys remember this? It's oh. basically a coil that pulled out the hair on your legs. Torture. <laughs> my dad gave one to me, my mom, and sister for Christmas oh. one year. Used for about two minutes. Never used it again. Uh, Thanks, Dad. Is that a hint, Dad? <laughs> yes. Or, well, it does sound painful. Guinevere writes in, strawberry seeds. I am allergic to berries. Oh, Gwen yeah. Not, that's not good. Oh, they gave her strawberry seeds, I see, to plant. To plant. Yeah. That's Are not going to work for me either. Can't what? plant, don't like strawberries, so. <laughs> what else you <laughs> got? Horrible gift, She's I know. She's hard to buy for. Has, have you ever received something you didn't want? You know, it's not that I didn't want, but I did get something that somebody gave me, and it was um, a monogrammed gift. You know, like, so you couldn't with my it. initials on it, but the initials were wrong. So what did you do with this? Oh, thank you. And thank you yeah. so much. Thank yeah. you so much. I know. I love every gift. I love every gift. I do too. It's because I mean, it's the thought that counts, Exactly. Right? And something like that, very personalized, right? I love personalized things. Mm -hmm. I love it. There have been a few gifts, though, I've given to our nieces. And now they're old enough that when they were kids, you know, they were excited about the box that it came in. They would drop oh, the contents of the, and like way run off more with excited the box. about the box. But now that they're older, th like they're very polite, and I can tell when they don't love the gift. Because no, they know. never do that. They're very polite. Like, oh wow, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Uncle Derek. We're so like, we love it. I'm like, it's no, too much. You don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. It was funny for Nutcracker Market. Orlando's like, oh yeah, you guys are gonna come back with all these bags. I'm just gonna get a pair of funny socks. You know, how Justin Stapleton wears the crazy socks. Yeah. Orlando does. So we usually get a. There's a little sock vendor. Yeah. No socks this year. He complained about it. Didn't buy them. <laughs> 
serves you right, Orlando. <laughs> what do you expect? He listen. He has mismatched socks anyway. It doesn't matter. So he wears them once. He'll never left and the right gone. Can't find them. They used to see his unmatched socks basket. Ridiculous. Why not just? I don't know. I think it disappeared. Sort of like the Tupperware lids. Yeah. His socks disappear. The washing machine does eat them sometimes. I know. Yeah. Deep thoughts. Okay, okay. let's check in with Keith, Christine, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at four o'clock. Hey guys. Your husband's hey. like, oh darn, no socks. <laughs> darn it. Okay, Courtney, I have a question though about the monogram GIF. Do you think they made a mistake, or do you think they like were regifting something that was monogrammed for someone else? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It could have been. I mean, who knows? It could have been. It was close. How off? Yeah. It how was off close. Was it like one letter? It off? was close, but it wasn't mine. Well, there's only three letters, so if one's I, off, I mean, I know. Yeah. I was. Close. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, I don't know. Okay. I don't Funny. know, girl. I don't know. Well, okay. Well, it's a thought that counts, I guess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you have a story, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for me, it, it wasn't what I got. It's what I didn't get. So I was. I was seven years old. And my cousin gets this big box. We're opening together. He gets this big box and, and he opens it up and it's like an evil Knievel motorcycle set oh. with the, the, the revved yeah, up he motorcycle. He, yeah, he got it. Yeah, it, it you know, went down a ramp and jumped over a building. So super cool. And then my, my next gift, the marquee gift that I open up for myself is a sweater. Uh, wah, wah. I wanted the Evil Seven. Knievel set. And yes. I'm like, so you got to yeah. give him an Evil Knievel I get a sweater? Hey, did you and, borrow I, I it from him then and never give it back? I mean, did I it have your initials on <laughs> <laughs> it? And it had the wrong Listen, initials. Did you behave that year? <laughs> I did. Are you sure? I, yes, I behave all the time. Okay, and they well, didn't give me the, the Evil Knievel. Luggage Christmas. Uh, when you're a senior in high school and your parents say, well, you're going off to college, you need you luggage. Need. <laughs> so you get these, you know, three big boxes and there's one American tourist. It looks like let's make a deal luggage. Oh. Two American tourists. Three, three, three. Yeah, I would love that was it. luggage. That was my whole Christmas, which was a nice gift. Yeah, yeah. but. And like, I needed it. But, not you know, things you need, things you want. As you get want. older, you, they, you start getting things you need, not yeah. things, things you, you want. want. Right, right. Like yeah. a sweater. Yeah. That would be better now. But, uh, yeah, like a sweater, yeah, with the okay. wrong initials on. Uh, well, you need oh, a sweater well. today. Good point. That's you know, that's hey, they nice. come in handy. This you know, doesn't there fit is the front. If you blinked, you missed it, right? That front came through. I told you it wasn't going to be a big yeah. deal. So that came, this is a radar I put together from 2 in the morning to 9 in the morning. And so that's when we saw this whole system move through. It did drop a little bit of rain. And by little, I mean maybe a third of an inch. Laporte, Aldine got a little bit. Magnolia, two tenths. Seabrook, downtown reporting nothing at the end of the day. So there's downtown. Speaking of which, it's gorgeous out there. 66, 71 hot. 70 Sugarland, 72 in Galveston across the state. It's nice and comfortable. We're going to continue to see these temperatures fall tonight. In fact, up to the north, there are frost and freeze alerts around the Dallas and San Angelo area. Not for us, but it will be chilly. I point this out because if you're going to go out and look for that partial lunar eclipse at 3 in the morning, it's going to be right around 50 degrees. So make sure you take that sweater that you don't want. In the meantime, we got this 3 in the morning. There it is, the maximum eclipse. And there's a timeline. We'll be talking much more about this coming up at 4 o'clock. Anthony has a whole report on this lunar eclipse, so join us for that. It's a sweater weather weekend. I have another front on Sunday, and then we're going to talk about Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's coming up. All right, Looking Frank, thank you. And it sounds like some pretty nice weather to watch the lunar eclipse, but you're going to want to get to bed early mm. and set your alarm for around 3 a.m. When we say early, maybe after like the 10 o'clock newscast, mm -hmm. we'd love to have mm -hmm. you join us. Okay, so the moon is going to move into the shadow Oh, the, the Earth's, yeah, the Earth's shadow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. And you should be able to see it for about f a few hours. Okay, Anthony's going to explain coming up at 4 o'clock, and we're going to let you know when to see the best view. It's going to be a blood moon. Can't wait. All right, plus, it is one of the most popular cars in the country, and now it is on the recall list. Why Toyota is recalling more than 200,000 of these sedans and a look at which owners are impacted by this recall. And a 12-year-old boy being called a hero today. How he managed to use his scout skills to save a lost couple on a hike trail with an injured dog. He is one smart tween. His story much more coming up on the news at four o'clock. We'll see you guys then. I see an Eagle Scout in his future. Yeah, <laughs> I think maybe so. Pretty incredible. All right, we'll see you then. Okay. Well, many of us look forward to a, a large meal on Thanksgiving, but for hundreds of families here in Houston, those meals are hard to come by. But with the help of a local business like Taste Bar and Kitchen and nonprofits like Kids Meals, Joe Sam found out how they're working to make the holiday brighter for those 
those in need. Hi, Joe. Yeah, that's right, guys. So they partnered up with a whole bunch of different groups. This is Chef Don Bowie. He's the executive chef and owner of Taste Bar and Kitchen, and he recently announced his new charitable arm, Culinary Matters, Big Chef Bowie Cares, which will serve to amplify his ongoing charitable efforts. Now, he took me on a ride along as he partnered up with these local organizations to deliver hundreds of turkeys with all the trimmings to families in the city. You like turkey? We have the chef, the man to plan right now, Taste Born Kitchen. This is going to be cool because you guys are helping out the community. You do a lot of community work. Yes, sir. How does it feel to be a part of this here? I always say that all the, you know, the blessings that I've received from opening Taste, the number one thing it allows me to do is to kind of give back. So to be able to be a part of things like this, I mean, it's just, it's just part of the reward. Absolutely, and we're heading to our first location right now to drop off. Whenever you see those families, is there any type of emotional connection that you get by making sure that you're actually helping a family out, a family in need during the holidays? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the first thing that I, that I feel is gratitude. You know, sometimes, you know, we go through our daily day life complaining about certain things that are so minute when it's in comparison to other families and other things that people are really going through. So, again, seeing kind of the joy, especially on the kids' faces, mm. being so excited. I mean, because some of these stories, I mean, these kids aren't, aren't getting meals on a day-to-day -day basis. So with these, with Kids Meal Delivers, it's like, this is how they survive. Kids Meals is the nation's only home delivery service for preschool age children that are living in severe poverty. So we are targeting those children that are too young for free breakfast and free lunch services through the school systems and many times don't have any other sources uh, that are bringing food to them and we are so concentrated on making sure these children have at least one healthy meal each day. And we are so thankful to do our Thanksgiving partnership with the Atlas Restaurant Group, Uzo Bay, and Lock Bar. Kids Meals! Kids Meals just does such great targeted work. And then the ability for our team to come in and pack and load, it's more than just the turkey. It's more than just the product. It's the community aspect, the team building aspect that's been uh, something very, very valuable for us. What would you tell others out there to make sure that we're helping out the community, which helps us out so much? Yeah, I mean, I think anytime that you're an entrepreneur and your business depends on the community that you live in, you automatically have a social responsibility to, to, to complete that circle. They've been helping me a lot. What's for Thanksgiving dinner? Turkey? The turkey, obviously. <laughs> but I win more or less. Oh yeah, good old turkey with mole. I'm gonna have to try that out. Now the foundation holiday campaign will get additional boosts from two signature events taking place Thanksgiving week. The Boost Mobile Block Party on Sunday, November 21st, followed by Chef Bowie's second annual Turkey Bowl on Tuesday, November 23rd. Now for more information on those events, just head over to our website, HoustonLife.tv. He gave out over 2,000 turkey meals to all of those families. And if you would just see the smiles on everybody's face, especially little kids, it just made you feel really good, just warms your heart. It's the only way those kids and those families will get that meal mm -hmm. uh, this year, which is really fantastic. And you saw the lunch bags, little artwork. Yes. That's what they need. So if you don't <laughs> have the cash, they still need, uh, because they deliver those meals every day, and the artwork on those bags, the kids light up. Oh, yeah. When they see those, AJ's doing a bunch of them tomorrow. Oh, so really can't cool. wait to see his artwork. Yes. A lot of great ways to volunteer, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously we love kids' meals. But the chef, when he said it really keeps things in perspective when you think about some families and yeah. some young people not having just the basics, mm -hmm. a healthy meal. It really does truly put things in perspective. I loved every single moment of it and riding along with them, it just made me feel like I was doing my part mm -hmm. for the community. Chef Bowie is wonderful. Thanks, Joe. Mm -hmm. Do appreciate it. Well, coming up, eat, drink, and be cranberry. That's a good one. It I is, love right? It. From how to make a delicious sauce to how to use those leftovers. See the must-have easy recipes for Thanksgiving and beyond. Marsha Smart is the best. We're going to hang with her in a bit. But in the meantime, if you'd like to have Thanksgiving dinner cooked for you, then now is a very good time to become a KPRC2 insider. Ten insiders will win a family turkey dinner complete with all the trimmings. This is major. You could be dining on meals from Orleans Seafood Kitchen, B&B Butchers, The Annie, or Good Company. So if you're not already an insider, what are you waiting for? Just go to click to Houston.com slash insider for your chance to enter to win. And stay right there. Houston Life will be right back.
Okay, guys, this Thanksgiving, skip the can of cranberry sauce and make your own because our friend Marsha Smart, culinary instructor and owner of Smart in the Kitchen School, is here with a quick recipe that is so flavorful you'll want to keep leftovers for the next day and maybe even have it all year round. Marsha, welcome back to the show. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me. You definitely want leftovers. Oh, for sure. I love this even on a sandwich, too. It's me yummy. Me, too. And we have all kinds of ways we can use it. I like it. Let's get started. Okay. We're making first a Meyer lemon cranberry sauce. So, this is what we're going to put on our table. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. so simple. You can make it today or tomorrow for Thanksgiving. You just add water, sugar, and it's just on like a low to medium heat. Okay. This is the Meyer lemon, just the skin, and a cinnamon stick, some lemon juice. If you can't find a Meyer lemon, you can use any regular lemon. Vanilla and a little pinch of salt. And Meyer lemon, why is that so specific? Is it sweeter? I like it. It's sweeter. Okay. It has a ton of juice. Then you just mix it up. And then I love to tell people, use a potato masher and mash it up. It just makes it go faster. Okay. Cranberry has natural pectin, so it turns into a like jam consistency really quickly. Okay, so those are the just a full bag of cranberries in there, right? Yes, full bag. It'll take like a few minutes to start to cook down. Yeah, and you'll um, see it because it'll even start to pop a little bit, right? So when it starts to get soft, you can mash it up and you're done. Okay. And then just let it cool. And we can leave this in the refrigerator, so go ahead and make it over the next couple days? Yes, make it. You can freeze it for up to three months, so you could already have some in your freezer like I do. Right. Or you can make it like five days ahead, put it in the fridge, you're good to go. Okay, or make a double batch, right? So you can have some for Thursday and have it left yes, over. Yes, I think that's the pro move because you really want the leftovers for these recipes. Okay, and I love that you're making a cocktail. Of course, of Marcia course. Marsha brings it. So this is one of my favorite cocktails. Okay. Um, I'm waiting, you know, for it to go viral because I love it so much. I've, I want everyone it's gonna happen. to love it, right? <laughs> okay, so this is just our leftover cranberry sauce. So okay. we're adding it to our cocktail shaker. And this will make two cocktails, what we're doing right now. Or, you know, one large. One, if you're one fishbowl. <laughs> this is some fresh lime juice, some fresh OJ, okay. and then some tequila because it is a margarita okay so we're adding just like a blanco tequila just a nice light tequila. and the orange juice basically gives it a little bit of sweetness right yes. so you got the tart and the sweet and instead of cointreau it's that fresh orange juice flavor that really pairs well with cranberry and then shake it Love I always say sound. shake it until it's so cold you can't hold on to it right and then make a big mess at Houston Life <laughs> Pour it in your glass. And you did a rosemary sprig in there. I love rosemary. I love fresh herbs in cocktails because it just makes them look so pretty and fresh. Um, the color of this is amazing. It is. It's like a ruby red. Oh, it's lovely. I want to taste it, so I just want to move the, the camera. There we go, because the cameraman is going to say, stop moving the glass. It's so good. Mm -hmm. So, And I give directions for a big batch version. Ooh. Ooh, it's that is good. It's and good. It's my favorite. Oh, I like that. So we love having people over like the day after. Usually it's the Saturday after mm -hmm. Thanksgiving when you've like recovered and to eat more, to eat more, <laughs> but like change it up into some small bites, like a charcuterie board to snack on some margaritas and then these cranberry meatballs. Okay, I'm super intrigued. And guys, I wish you could smell this because it smells so good in here. The cranberry soft sauce is so flavorful. Are you just using regular beef? You can do regular. turkey too, right? You could do turkey, you could do ground chicken. And whenever I say cranberry meatballs, people get nervous that mm -hmm. they're like actual cranberries in the meatballs, which I think would still be delicious. But it's just the glaze that goes on top. Oh, So okay. you use some of the leftover cranberry cranberry sauce for this sweet and spicy glaze for the meatballs. Okay, here's the recipe on the split screen there. So we've got two pounds of ground beef. Yes. You add in some breadcrumbs. Of course, our egg is the binder. Yes. Um, sweet chili sauce as well. And that can be anything from a jar, right? Yes, it's just sweet chili sauce from a jar. Okay. And that's what gives it that, like, little bit of spice. Some kind of a little tang. Yeah. Got to get it in there. And some salt. Okay. And then just mix it all together, and I love to portion it out with a cookie scoop. Yeah, this is a pro tip I've learned from you. So that gets your meatballs into these sort of appetizer portion size. Oh, it's so perfect. But you could also make this into a larger size, like Swedish meatball for dinner. Okay, what about a meatloaf? 
Oh, you totally could. That actually gives me an idea. Okay. I Come like on that. in, Derek. Derek's ready. He's ready to pounce on his margarita. Well, <laughs> sorry, I'm just hovering. Marsha, it's so great to see I you. Know. This looks fantastic. And wow, that cocktail These looks are some great. These are my favorites. Let's talk about your ebook because uh, people who follow you on Instagram may have heard about this, but you have all kinds of tips in the book. Yes. So the holiday ebook is easy appetizers, easy desserts. You literally, I made it with my Saturday night ritual in mind so it's just some easy easy recipes it is so good i've made so many of your recipes my fan the whole family is a fan of your cooking um can we talk about your collab because we've got your yes. um, aprons on congratulations I love it. thank you it was so fun so these are the hunter bell and smart in the kitchen aprons um and i brought some of her tabletop items and it was just so fun to work on with her and they're from her fabrics that she used in her collections and I got to, you know, make sure they had pockets and make sure they could tie. How that I is super. Them so you and Hunter Bell designed these aprons together. It was so fun. And I you showed up at her office with all my favorite aprons, all the vintage ones I collect, and right. we like tried on aprons and played in her office. Oh, so fun! Congratulations. Thank these are you. available on your website, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Smart, Smart in the, in the kitchen. kitchen School is where these are, um, and all of the recipes from the ebook. Perfect. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Cheers, friend. It's great Cheers. to see you. Cheers. Did you try your drink just yet? They're love delicious. So I good. love the tartness. Thanks so much, Marcia. Cheers. So good to see you guys. All right. So uh, why don't we check in with Lauren? Is we that are, what we're going to do? We have a complete list of all the downloads on HoustonLife.tv. That's where you're going to find all the information for these recipes and the ebook as well. Sorry, I was distracted by the cocktail. It's that delicious. <laughs> Thank you, Marcia. <laughs> all right. Why don't we check back in with Lauren now? She is lacing up her running shoes for a fun family event. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> hey guys, that's right. Coming up on Saturday, December 4th, right here at the beautiful Tavola community, we are going to have some special guests at the Tavola Reindeer Run, including that guy. All the details when Houston Life returns in just two minutes. I like Medusa, my turn you to stone. So the fifth annual Tavola Reindeer Run is happening right here on this beautiful Tavola property in New Caney on Saturday, December the 4th. And we are trying to get all the families near and far to come out and join us because it's going to be so much fun. I have hosted this gig a couple of times before and it truly is for every member of the family. And I am going to be speaking right now with New Caney ISD's District Wellness Coordinator. This is Denise Kretschmar. We have to talk about the New Caney ISD relationship with the Tavola Reindeer Run because all of the proceeds benefit ISD in New Caney, right? Uh, yes, so uh, as the new coordinator this year, I remember that we had this run and I thought what a better way to get the community involved and all the staff and promote health and wellness and also raise some funds for the community and a chance for uh, the schools to compete against each other to win uh, a donation. I love that. I love how in 2019 we raised about $7,500 for New Caney ISD and since there's so many athletes at the schools nearby competing, it's like a friendly competition. Yeah. Right? Yes. And so not to mention all these great funds going to New Caney ISD, but there's so much fun to be had at the Tavola Reindeer Run. There's photo ops with Santa and Mrs. Claus. There's a rock wall. We mentioned before that there's going to be hot coffee and cocoa. It's really just a great time. And this guy right here is making his first appearance since the pandemic. The Chick-fil-A cow is going to be there. Of course, they're going to have some delicious food out there as well. If you guys want the information, Reindeerrun.com or call 281-703-8800 for more info. We cannot wait to see you guys out there at the fifth annual Tavola Reindeer Run. That's happening Saturday, December 4th, right here at this beautiful Tavola community. Oh, and also it is presented by Lennar and Stormwater Solutions Bayer Construction. Derek and Courtney, back to you guys. I've got a little uh, charming to do on this guy to get some food <laughs> here on December the 4th. Okay, Lauren, thank you so much. We've got our running shoes ready. After the break, we'll have a look at what's coming up on tomorrow's show when we'll give you a look at a brand new holiday tradition. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to love this. It's awesome. And as we head to break, let's check in with Michelle Turner for a look at what's coming up on entertainment tonight, including what JLo is saying about wedding bells. Hey, Michelle. Derek and Courtney, tune in to ET tonight for the latest on Sean Mendez and Camila Cabello's split. Plus, Kim Kardashian celebrates Pete Davidson's birthday. And is JLo ready to say I do to Ben Affleck? That's all tonight at 6.30 right here on KPRC2. But don't go anywhere. Houston Life will be right back.
Coming up tomorrow on Houston Life, Houston Botanic Garden presents Lightscape 2021. We are getting a first look at the stunning light installations along the natural landscape of the Houston Botanic Garden. This is something guaranteed for years to come. You're going to love taking your family to. And get ahead of the holiday gift curve. Catch the fully tricked out mobile art gallery as it rolls through Houston just in time for your holiday shopping. Okay, well, cheers to all that. I still have my cranberry oh, my sauce cocktail there. from Marsha Smart. Thanks so much for joining Smart us today man. on brought Houston yours with Life. You. <laughs> <laughs> all right, why don't we send it on over to Keith and Christine in Studio A.